Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to go back to Rite Aid to see if I could find the Cetaphil that's on clearance. I highly doubt, but um, I just want to see if I can find any. I'm going to go to four different Rite Aids, one I've never been to before. So that's what I'm going to do as well as go to CVS to see if I could try to get a deal for this week. So let's head on into Rite Aid and CVS. All right, so we are here at Rite Aid number one. I actually never been to this Rite Aid before. So let's see if we can get lucky here. All right, well, this store actually does have a clearance section, but it is pretty sad looking. And all the tags that you see, there's not actually a price. So it just has like, either the barcode uh, marked off or just a little green sticker, but no actual price on it. And the Cetaphil are all the new and improved ones on the shelf, so I cannot score at this location. Well, coming out all this way was a complete bust, because look at how cute. Look at those skeleton jet fans. Oh. All right, well, here is a Rite Aid number two. Let's see if I have better luck here. All right, here is uh, the second Rite Aid's clearance section. Much more items at this Rite Aid for clearance, but no Cetaphil. I just, I don't think I'm going to find any Cetaphil. Probably all got wiped out. Plus, I feel like Rite Aid's here. They just like toss them like they, I don't know, they put them in the back or something. I don't know, maybe the employees just buy them for themselves. I don't know. But no luck again. All right, we are at Rite Aid number three. So let's see if we get lucky here. All right, so here is the clearance section at this Rite Aid. Seems to be the same amount of stuff as the second Rite Aid. Um, aside from Jesus being 74 cents. But yeah, no Cetaphil. Only they, all the Cetaphil on the shelf are the new ones. So I definitely think I missed out on that clearance sale. Um, but yeah, nothing here. Friday number three. You know, I actually just noticed that they have two clearance sections here at the store. This is the second one. Still no Cetaphil anywhere, but they do have two. That's the other one, so here we go. And I'm looking at this, and I see, I had bought this Genexa. This was full price at the uh, Rite Aid that I bought this at on Monday, and it did give me back the bonus cash, so I wonder if this one will give back bonus cash. I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'm just gonna buy like this, because I know definitely, see this one at the other location was 249, but it did not give back the bonus cash. Now I wonder, since these are clearance here, will it give back bonus cash? I don't know, but I'm gonna try for these two with the whale on it. And I guess just pay it out. Don't use bonus cash. And if I don't get bonus cash back, maybe I'll just return it. So let's see, let's see at the register. If anyone is trying to do the spend 50, get $10 off, and you need to like throw in an item, but you wanna get like, you know, something back for it. This Ball Max here, it's priced at $8.29 in my store. 20% off gold discount will make this $6.63. You could print out this coupon. I literally just typed like Ball Max coupons and this came up from their website. It's $2 off. So it'll drop it down to $4.63. And then Ibotta has a $4 rebate of actually a limit of five. So this will just make this a final cost of 63 cents it's not giving back anything but i mean in terms of bonus cash but i mean the fact that you get four dollars for my bottom two dollars off makes it a pretty good deal all right you guys that worked out at rite aid i bought the four genexa at 4.99 it was clearance to this store only um 1996 was the total and i got back the 20 dollars in bonus cash so i'll go over this receipt more thoroughly when we get home all right so fourth and final rite aid is this one here uh just for laughs let's see if they even have the cetaphil here i i doubt but let's check 
Well, this is the clearance section at this store and it is probably the saddest looking clearance section of all the stores. Of course, no CFL here. All right, now we are here at CVS. I'm gonna try to do a deal for this week. Hopefully I'm successful. So let's head on inside and see what we could do today. So here's the deal that I'm gonna do for the L'Oreal. Let's spend 30 and get $10 extra buck back. So I'm gonna get that Revitalif Derm intensifies eye serum it's priced at $29.79 at this store i do have two six dollar off revital lifts as well as a five off 15 so that's 17 dollars in coupons it's going to bring the total down to 12.79 i have my 10 dollar care pass that i'm going to use as well as a uh another extra buck just to help bring it down i'm going to get the 10 dollars right back and this will give me a beauty buck in a couple days as well, making this completely free after both extra bucks. All right, so I'm out of that CVS and I did the deal, it worked fine, but I only did that one deal. And that's because when I was in there and I asked for the product, the woman just went and took the product out and was like, I need to put this in the front on some like, Look at that plane. It wasn't on some like, oh, okay, like we'll put this up at the front for you and when you when you're ready. No. And right before that, there was a woman who had wanted a product that was locked up, less expensive than mine, still locked up, and she handed it to her and kept it pushing. But when I want an item, could I look like this? I can't get the product in my hand. So that that just, you know, messed up my whole mood. So I just got that one item and left. But luckily, everything, you know, like it went fine. I'll show you the receipt later. But it's like, that's what pisses me off. You know, like some kind of profiling or something. So, yep, NYC couponer. Gotta deal with the racial profiling. All right, everyone, I'm back home now, and I have the items I got today, which were the four Genexa in Rite Aid, as well as this in CVS. If you hear my fan in the background, I am sorry. I'm a little hot, you know, I'm still heated from earlier. But let's go over our Rite Aid receipt here. So we have the Genexa was $4.99 clearance in this store so it might not be that way in your store um this is the only store out of the four that i went to well i went to i went to five i went to one of the ones that i've been to before that i knew wouldn't have had to see the fill anyway but it's the one closest to me so i just walked into that one but out of the five that i went to today um this location was the only one that had it at 4.99 so it came out to 1996 and i told them i'm like look if i'm trying to see if this gives back bonus cash if it doesn't give back bonus cash can i um return it on the spot because it's clearance and i know that they only to like return clearance so they said yeah like if you do it right on the spot like we'll allow it i'm like okay but if we look down here 20 dollars back in bonus cash because this one i have bought in my monday video and it gave back bonus cash so i assumed okay this should be giving back the bonus cash here and it did now this was my boyfriend's card so i didn't he only had 259 on it i didn't use it i just paid um 1996 in debit card and then i got the 20 dollars right back and if you see here it does say oh, uh rewarded for the genexa it's funny though because i got it twice on the other receipt it did show it two separate times here it only shows it once but that's twenty dollars back and i already got back the uh ten dollars from ibotta so if you put use bonus cash for this and can find it at your store at this price um this will be a, a complete freebie plus a ten dollar money maker which is a great deal they all seem to expire 622 and it was actually one 
in the regular section i should have filmed it there was one in the regular section with the expiration date of 622 so i don't know why these four were um clearance i don't know anyway that's that so we have the l'oreal here from uh apparently a racially profiling cvs and i don't want to hear oh no they did it because it's expensive and they wanted to put it aside no because the energy of that woman was off it was not like like if she would have been like okay miss we'll we'll put this in the front for you that would have been different but she was just like i gotta put this in the front and i was like give me attitude why don't you so that just messed me all up but here it is on the receipt um all the coupons came off no problem six dollars off twice five off 15 i used my ten dollar care pass it was a three dollar beauty buck that i was um gonna use but it, that had just messed me up so i was just like uh an extra buck <laughs> um it was a beauty buck paid zero no tax or anything zeroed out that's a hundred percent savings got this completely free this was already over thirty dollars um i was i needed 20 to get the extra uh beauty buck back so this is completely free i will be getting another three dollars here so i spent 13 dollars in you know like extra bucks getting 13 dollars right back so that's a nice deal there um oh I, I didn't mention this i never got one of these before again this is on my boyfriend's car we don't often use it too much i only do it if it's like a free deal or just something i can roll his bonus cash with I've never gotten this before. Save $3 on your next shopping order. I don't... The, the barcode is here. I'm, I'm hiding it. It's flipped here. But I don't know on what. Like, there's no fine print on, like, obviously you have to spend at least $3. And it has to be only on his card. But on anything, you know? I don't know. So maybe I'll use this next week um, while shopping. Alright, so that is everything um, I got today. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please comment down anything below if you have uh, problems with um, people maybe racially profiling you at your store, any kind of issues that may arise, um, and how you deal with them. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know if you could find this at your store or if clearance is giving back um, bonus cash for you guys. Let me know what you did at CBS. This is the only thing I did, but it was completely free, so um, can't complain. And I just want to thank you guys so much for your constant love and support. Please continue to like my videos, comment down below, whatever you guys want. And subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!